हेलो वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर सूरज चिरानिया हिमाटोलॉजिस्ट हिमाटो ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट फिजिशियन टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑफन मिस अंडरस्टूड टॉपिक व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स एंड कैंसर यू मे हैव हर्ड ऑफ ब्लड कैंसर लाइक लुकेमिया लिम्फोमा बट डू यू नो हाउ दे अफेक्ट यूर व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स एंड ओवरऑल हेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर वॉट इज लुकेमिया एंड लिम्फोमा आर हाउ दिस कैंसर अफेक्ट the white blood cells common symptoms and risk factors how they are diagnosed and being treated so let's break it down in simple terms and understand how this condition develops and what can be done about them so coming to first what is leukemia this is a type of blood cancer that affects the white blood cells normally wbc grow and divide in a controlled way fighting infections and keeping your immune system strong but in leukemia the bone marrow start producing abnormal wbc uncontrollably disrupting the normal blood cell production these abnormal wbcs don't function properly making your body more vulnerable to infection crowd out the healthy blood cells leading to low hemoglobin that is anemia bleeding problems fatigue spread rapidly making early uh, diagnosis and treatment crucial so leukemia can be acute or chronic acute means fast growing chronic means slow growing and it classified into different types such as acute lymphoblastic leukemia that is more common in children acute myeloid leukemia that is more common in adults chronic are chronic lymphocytic leukemia a slowly progressing cancer in older adults and chronic myeloid leukemia develop slowly but can accelerate over time now let's talk about another major white blood cell cancer that is lymphoma this is our second segment so lymphoma is a type of cancer that affects the lymphatic system which is essential part of our immune system unlike leukemia we start in a bone marrow lymphoma begins in the lymph node and can spread throughout the body there are mainly two types of lymphoma first is hodgkin lymphoma recognized by presence of special type of cell called as reed sternberg cells non hodgkin lymphoma is a second entity a broader category that affects many different sub types of lymphoma in lymphoma the cancerous white blood cells multiply uncontrollably forming tumors in the lymph node spleen and other organs weakening that leads to weakening uh, the immune system over the period of time third segment is what are the symptoms of leukemia and lymphoma now do you uh, do you know if you and your loved ones might have leukemia and lymphoma the symptoms of both cancer can sometimes be subtle or mistaken for other illnesses common signs uh, of leukemia includes the frequent infection due to the less immunity unexplained fatigue pale skin and anemia from reduced wbc easy bruising or bleeding from low platelet levels body pain or swelling of liver and spleen common signs of lymphoma include swollen lymph nodes these lymph nodes are most common in the neck armpit and groin area so the swelling appears happens in this area night sweats and persistent fever and unexplained weight loss severe itching mostly in the hodgkin lymphoma or skin rashes shortness of breath or chest pain if the lymph node presses on the lungs if you uh, can lead to shortness of breath and chest pain if you or someone you know experiencing these symptoms there is urgent need to carry out the blood test and visit your uh, doctor specially hematologist fourth segment is how these cancers are diagnosed early detection is key if your doctor suspect lymph leukemia lymphoma uh, they may recommend blood tests like cbc uh, to check your the wbc levels bone marrow studies requiring the aspiration and biopsy to know the type and severity lymph node biopsy especially in lymphomas imaging studies like ct scan pet scan to detect the cancer spread and that helps in the staging of disease genetic test to identify the specific mutation for the personalized treatment option the sooner these cancers are detected the better the chances of effective treatment and recovery coming to our last segment the treatment option for leukemia and lymphoma 
thankfully the advances in medicine that has made leukemia and lymphoma treatable in many cases it is a curable almost 70 percent of these cancers are curable but it depends on the type stage of the cancer the treatment option includes the chemotherapy that are to destroy the cancerous white blood cells the targeted therapy uses specialized drugs that attack the cancer cells without harming the normal cells immunotherapy boosts the body's immune system to fight against the infection sometimes we take a help of radiation therapy as well bone marrow transplant is the most effective way to cure the leukemia lymphoma in different stages replaces uh, this bone marrow transplant replaces the damaged bone marrow with the healthy ones with early diagnosis and the right treatment many patients recover and able to manage their uh, like uh, livelihood as a normal person so conclusion and call to action is leukemia lymphoma is serious and treatable cancer that affects the white blood cells if you have symptoms like frequent infection unexplained fatigue swollen lymph node persistent fever get checked by a hematologist early diagnosis through blood test and biopsy can make a big difference advances in chemo immunotherapy targeted and bone marrow transplant are improving survival rates so if you found this video informative please like share and subscribe to our channel and keep uh, in touch for the latest updates thank you